guys Jennifer here welcome back to my channel Tammy this one is for you girl I am creating some flowers using snippets of love kit and in her snippets of love kit she has this page of flowers and they're um, three different sizes and I just crinkled them up after I fussy cut them so they look like this and then I'm layering them here, right? In different ways. And I'm adding different layers. Um, so let me show you a few that I've made. I've got this one. I might cut the bottom here, I'm not sure, but it just kind of fell like that with the lace. So um, I've crinkled them up, I inked the edges, and inside I'm literally just tucking in little bits of tulle, scrap fabrics, right under here. And this one was an applique here. And then I put this third layer on top and then this is a little piece of an applique like bit like this. And I just cut it and put it there. And that's that one. This one is more of like a vintage one. And this one, I crinkled up some doily, put that in there. There's a little scrap fabric bit back here, some tulle scraps, and then some more fabric scraps under here. And then I did more doilies and this piece of applique and then a rosette and then down here i just have like a little piece of lace made into like a bow so there's that one and then let's see i did this little one just lots of layers of lace fabric behind there some cream colored some pink and then applique right in the middle so super easy and they're flat you know I mean they're somewhat dimensional but for the most part to go right into a journal super simple and then here's this one I just um, tucked in some pink fabric some tool some other tool over here little fabric bits same with back here. I just shoved them in, tough, tucked them under. I also did maybe like a layer sometime and then did the tucking on the sides even after. So I just put the glue in the middle at first and I'm gonna show you what I mean. And then tucked everything in. So this is a little pink flower that has some dangly trim on the bottom and then a pretty applique pink one and this little tiny bit of a white one there. So well, that's that one. And then I'm going to show you real quick a sneak peek of a slimline journal that will be coming up next how I put this together so far. And I'll show you the page that has the flower. So I did a very, um, I for this one to fit on the slimline journal, I did the top two layers. So the small and the medium. And that's what I used there. So this is a sneak peek of my slimline journal, guys. Goodbye. <laughs> so let's put one of these together. Let me see. I'm using Doreen's scrap inspiration basket over here. Lots of goodies to grab from. Look at these goodies. So it's just like a piece of sheer pink fabric. Right? And then um, some chiffon. And then here's some doily scrunched up. 
just putting that in there. And then this piece, this I might put in afterwards. So, okay, I've scrunched them up and then I opened them up. I didn't wet them or anything. I just scrunched them. And then I'm going to put some. And I'm kind of, you know, not putting them exactly. So, like, the pearls are here. I'm going to put the pearls over here now. So it's not perfectly symmetrical. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I like that. I'm going to take that out for right now. There we go. And then I can always scrunch these in. And then this piece, I'm going to see if I, let me get the scissors. Just scrunch these up in here, right? And then I'm going to take the glue gun, a little dab here and there, and I'm going to get my, well, I thought my spatula was in here, but I can use this. Just have a piece of that sticking out. And then this little flower piece here, or this uh, lace. I'm just going to scrunch that in. Scrunch that in there. A little piece of that hanging out. And the lace gives that dimension. Right? And then I have this piece of a doily. Can cut a piece of that and shove that in there. <laughs> there we go. Right? Let's put that in there. Okay. So now we got a little bit of scrunched upness. <laughs> this one, I think I'm going to put it like this because it's kind of goes with that doily, that same color family. Okay. Like this. And then, let's see. Whoop. Then maybe we can put this over here. It's literally this simple, you guys. It's just scrappy bits. That's what makes it. So, um, Tammy in, at Embellish the Story asked me to um, kind of do a quick video for you guys. Sometimes I just don't think about those things, you know, like I figure, oh, they know what I'm, you know, how to do this. And um, I forget that, you know, when you first start out, um, not that Tammy is first starting out, but you just um, not sure what to do with it and you just need some inspiration. And I totally get like that sometimes where I just can't figure things out and I need inspiration from other people as well. So I just wanted to share this with you and I'll leave Tammy's link below. She's one of the designers here at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I don't want to leave anybody else out. So I'll leave all the list of designers below, okay? And that way you can go show them some love and uh, they will be happy to hear from you. Okay, let's see. What am I going to use for the center? I had a cute little bit here. I was thinking like this one, right? And you don't have to even put anything in the middle because you might want to see that. You know, you could just say, that's good. I like it like this, right? Maybe put some... Um, like glitter glue or um, what do you call the uh, the um, Nouveau Shimmer pen. Wouldn't that be fun to put that on there? 
It's just clear glitter. And if you just lightly put it on, not too much, um, over the digital, you'll get a little bit of sparkly. You know, just a little shimmer right there. You can kind of see that. And that way, if you didn't want to cover this beautiful picture of the flower, you still kind of have all that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I'm going to leave it like that for this one. You can keep scrunching it up if you want. I like it scrunched for some reason. So that's super fun. So look at all the different ones that you can create and you can do different sizes and um, styles. You know, if you just want the vintage, this one I didn't do any pink. I just did all vintage. And then of course this one is pink. So you can do whatever color scheme you want really. They pretty much go with everything. All right guys, that's the quick video how to of how I created these little pretty flowers using Doreen's kit, Snippets of Love, and you can find her at oolalavintagetreasures.com. I'll leave all the information below. Thanks so much for stopping by. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Hi, guys. Oh, that's my middle finger. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm sitting like this, and I go like that. Doreen snippet of love kit snippets of love kit snippets of love kit <laughs> <laughs>